but I could also be wrong on that. But I will say, if he can't do it, can one of these can? Can one of these do it? That's true. You know? yeah, so, I mean, like, Zai is a character that, I, a player that I don't think Nico has played in a while. I could be wrong on that as well, but. I feel like it's been a little bit. I feel like it's been a little bit, you know, but like, you know, um, you know, Palutena's like, you know, that's a matchup that Nico's you know, all too familiar with. Uh, he's played with Chag a little bit, you know, at Rising Grind, which was, you know, six months ago, something like that, and some change. But, you know, he's definitely has had some experience in that matchup. And we are going to see the secondary come out, or co-main, right? But I have seen the graphics of, you know, locals yep. of Lafayette and stuff like that. Shout-outs to Laffy Smash, you know, uh, which, I, you know, everybody that's responsible, you know, making that those events happen. I have seen Zai pull out the Aegis in the graphics. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I've seen the Aegis. And so. it does make sense against Steve. Steve is a character that's considered to, to do pretty well into Palutena. So, not too surprising to see the Aegis come out here. Um, hopefully, you know, I don't know quite uh, how it matches up compared to the Palu, but uh, sometimes you just need that character switch into a matchup that you're, you know, more comfortable with. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting because I feel like while Palutena has, you know, the back air very disjointed, very good move, to kind of counteract the minecart and, you know, it straight up just beats it. Uh, I feel like Zai is opting to go for more of a speed counter pick with the Mithra just to be able to punish at burst range and goes for the heavy hitboxes and big hitboxes that Zai wants to go for with Pyra. So. Yeah, and we see Mithra there just breaking all three blocks with an F smash as well. And we see the trade with the minecarts. Yeah, so far, you know, you mentioned the minecart. He's dealing with the minecart pretty well as he almost <laughs> dies to it. But yeah. I thought you were dead, bro. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think the most base thing you could have done was if you don't land on a ledge, you land on the block. That would have been so good. I, I, I would have, you know, stood up and golf clap Zai, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, no, I feel like the speed in, in terms of, like, how he wants to deal with neutral against Steve, I feel like he can dash in and out a lot easier with Mithra than he can with, like, Palu, for example. Mm -hmm. Especially when, you know, Davon wants to just let the minecart rip, right? I feel like you'll have a better idea of what to do in this situation. You saw the low, prof the low profile. The dash attack low profile on the block, he's able to go completely through it or underneath it. That's kind of crazy. So a little bit of niche things that, you know, I, I definitely haven't noticed in this matchup before. So. Yeah, smart tech roll in as well. Avoiding minecart. That's one thing I think Zai's done pretty well. He got hit by a couple of them, but by and large, he's done a really, really good job of knowing the situations, like right there, where Dave can minecart and being ready to react. And yeah. so great stuff by Zai so far. Oh, just misses the spot dodge into, into oh. the anvil. Oh, but you're yeah. out of the range so close. Yeah, like you said, Zai showing a lot of proficiency in this matchup right now. You know, picking out the right options and understanding when to throw out the rising aerials, understanding when the minecart is coming down. So having a pretty good lead for himself. Next big hit from Pyro should do it here. Tries to go for something right there. You know, obviously, you know, with the backer, you can delay, you know, the shield. You know, you can obviously mess around with the parry timing, and then you just catch him. Not the eyeing of the block. Going to go against Davon right there. Gets the F tilt. Untackable, yeah. So, you know, Zai, pretty good lead for himself in this game one. Yeah, pretty good lead so far. His positioning has been really good in terms of putting himself in situations where uh, he can react to the minecart while also baiting it out. So far, uh, you know, Dave hasn't really... Uh, been able to to get one of those huge, you know, mine cards or huge uh, Steve combos yet. We'll see how he tries to adapt as we go forward. But Zai doing such a great job so far as he gets this carry combo off stage. Ooh, that that was kind of that was kind of interesting right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, you know, I, I figured the get up attack would beat it, but then the you know the crafting table sort of got in the way. You know, Davon with no materials, so you got to be careful. Every hit that Davon finds here, you know, he's gonna try to just mine whatever he can to try to get something going in. What an option. That was kind of a crazy option. It worked out in his favor, though. You know, he right now he's at the, you know, he's doing the right thing against Steve. Like, he's pestering Steve. So, you know, like any situation or any chance that, you know, Damon wants to mine, Zai is making him pay for it. So that's definitely something scary that he doesn't want to deal with. Oh. Yeah. That was, I mean, Zai had his number right there. He, he had the right idea and just couldn't quite... He probably dashed back just a little bit too much there, unfortunate. But even so, oh wow, yeah, good back here by Dave Ong. It's even. Fox, but it's even. <laughs> even so, I think Zai's proficiency so far in, in terms of dealing with all the seed. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I'm speaking too soon. <laughs> you you take it back now, good sir. Take it back. <laughs> uh, I, I might have spoken too soon because... Sh Shasta Zai, he said, what? What were you talking about again? <laughs> Davis <laughs> completely turned it on here. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. And it all came from that one whiff. He threw out that up smash as to like, you know what? Like, I think you're going to land here. Yeah. And then that all led to 88%. 
But he catches the F smash right there. Zai almost letting that game go, though. Yeah, and we saw right there at the end, Dave ran out of materials. He was low on materials. He tried to go for an anvil off stage at one point, and it did come out, and minecart there. He didn't have the, the iron to make the minecart either. So um, Dave is unfortunately going to fall short in terms of his materials and, and get punished for that at the end. But, I mean, that was scary. Zai, you know, had a pretty sizable lead, almost, almost let that go. But yeah, uh, good stuff being able to close it out. You know, I'm telling, I'm telling you, like, I feel like one of the things that he did really well there was he, like, as soon as he noticed that Dave was low on materials, he was pestering him over and over and over again, and he was only able to like actually mine one or two materials at at, at any given time, at any time that Dave Dave tried to go for more, Zai was there to get them punished. Yeah. Gets a little bit too, you know, com overzealous, overconfident, and almost throws that game a little bit, you know. But you know, he's able to kind of hold on. Uh, for dear life, right? I think that's the other interesting thing about playing against characters that have materials. Obviously, people always talk about like resource management when you're playing the character with resources, but it's also, if you're the opponent, understanding when your opponent does or doesn't have resources and finding your openings there. And Zai did a really good job of that, as you mentioned last game. Yeah, absolutely. Showing proficiency in the matchup for sure. Uh, I feel like someone in Louisiana has picked up Steve. Mystic! Mystic has picked up. Mm. Mystic, I know Mystic said, uh, Mystic said I think um, that they were going to be playing Steve uh, for a little bit, obviously. Um, you know, I think also from Lafayette, so, you know, there, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, Zai's probably seen it a couple times, maybe. So, you know, I'm curious to see, like, you know, uh, I'm actually curious. Like, I, I want someone to correct me. Be like, hey, man, you, you're wrong, bro. But what? What F smash? Yeah, you hear everybody in the back. I'm like, what the heck is going on, man? What was yeah, that? that was, I mean, it hit right through all of the blocks. But luckily, the blocks managed to save Zai by uh, slowing down the, the um, knockback a little bit. Yeah, but Dave looks so much more comfortable at the beginning of this game so far. Zai's still pulling around the minecart pretty well, I would say. Oh, well, I jinxed it. <laughs> I, I jinxed Noxel, it. Noxel, you're not allowed to say anything good about <laughs> Zai anymore. Because every time, that's twice. That's twice that you every say something. Every single time. You say something good about Zai, and then he immediately gets blown up. Like, it's like, yeah. dude. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> He's going to keep going. He's going to keep going. <laughs> He's going to keep talking, bro. We're not going to tell you. We're not going to tell you who told you to keep talking, <laughs> but, you know, we're going to keep going. All right. Even game now, Zai uh, manages to close out that stock. Getting stuff out right there just by a single block. Uh, manages to get a tech chase on the platform. Pressuring with those up tilts. Yeah, not going to do too much. Dave's going to be able to go back to a setup. Mine a little bit more. He's got the gold. Got another diamond now. Oh, wow. Okay, manages to craft the other diamond. He's going to use it up, but it refreshes the durability on all of his uh, all of his weapons. So yeah. that's still a positive. Yeah, absolutely. That means you kind of could still, you know, t lead the charge, right? And, yep. you know, understand that you still have some time to keep going, right, with the, you know, with the material. So obviously, you know, um, you know nice up B right there. Yeah, I feel like sometimes he finds the right positioning to where, because sometimes on those platforms, you run the risk of, like, the RP actually not hitting you, and then you get punished because you're in free fall. But what a downer. He found the downer, gets the, you know, big hit, big stock, right? Big lead right now. Yeah, big lead. And that was a pretty early kill, too. Uh, Dave was at like 100-ish after the kill, so they were probably pretty close in percent before the downer connected. But Zai, I mean, we've talked uh, about his defensive play when he had the lead uh, in the previous set. If that, you know, sort of carries into this set as well, this could spell a disaster for Dave. But yeah, so far, Dave hasn't really been able to touch Zai ever since he took this lead. This is... Yeah. Not looking good. Yeah, I'm telling team. you, every time that Dave wants to get oh, suit would have F smashed there. I'm just <laughs> letting you know right now. I just wanted to throw that out there. Just I think we both are, yeah. are aware of that. So shout out to Adrian. But anyways, you know, I will say, yeah, like you said, you know, the defensive options working a little bit better right now. You know, again, continuing to pester, you know, Dave. He's not letting him like throw out the not letting him, you know, farm materials or, you know, use the crafting table like super peacefully, right? Like there there's some resistance being met, right? And I think that's the key in this matchup, especially when Dave he does have those materials, can push advantage, but Zai gonna be able to push himself into a 2-0 lead, finding the down smash. Yeah, that down smash barely outranged the getup attack. That was such amazing spacing by Zai. And yeah, no, Zai is just is just showing his proficiency in the matchup so far. You know, Steve, obviously a very strong character. We won't be seeing too much of it after today at MTS, but oh, well, at all, I guess, after this MTS. But <laughs> Zai, Put it on a show in terms of how you play around the character, for sure. So yeah, absolutely. You know, and Dave, you know, like you said, he's showing a lot of proficiency. Obviously, knowing what to do. You know, Dave opting to kind of mix it up a little bit, going for a little bit smaller space, more close quarters combat. 
Shouts to the agents. But, you know, I will say, you know, uh, this could be uh, Dave's last uh, Steve game at MTS, right? Unless, you know, whatever reason for the near future. So, you know, he's going to want to, you know, try to get a game here, you know, maybe push, you know, make it a 2 2 after that. But, you know, you got to get this first game, you know, in game three. But Zai, he says, I don't care, bro. He, he, you know that one meme where, like, you're digging and digging and digging through the. Yeah, he's playing yeah. Dig Dug, bro. <laughs> he's literally playing Dig Dug in person right now. But, you know, Dave, Dave not really caring. He's like, I don't care, but I'll still do it. Low on materials already, so it's kind of a scary situation. And I will say the big thing is when you do run out of materials on this stage, it's really hard sometimes because he's you're, you're already, you know, you, you dash in once and you're already right in front of your opponent. And so, you know, Zai's going to have a really good time continuing to interrupt, you know, every time that Dave wants to get, you know, these materials. Mm -hmm. So could potentially spell disaster. Tries to go for, you know, over the ledge up B to kind of, you know, you know catch some, um, you know, some shady DI. But nobody home for it. Yeah, and sometimes you do that too, just to catch uh, the opponent off stage on your way up, and it sometimes comes into the, the, the second hit. Uh, doesn't quite get it there. There he gets it. Okay, yeah, yeah. There absolutely. We go. Yeah, like you said, he kind of caught him with the hit stun right there a yeah. little bit, right, and then brought him with him. Basically, brought him with him. Uh, with, you know, obviously worked out in his favor. And again, Dave, you know, the lack of materials proving to be a little bit too much right now. Has the diamond, uh, obviously, you know, in hand right now. Could find a big F smash. Could find a big, you know, back air right here, right here, and even up the count. Uh, Minecart at the ledge will probably do it. Also, that will definitely do it. So, Ooh. oh, yeah, no jump though. Oh, but you ran out. You ran out of the anvil, but it doesn't matter. He finds the back air anyways. And this is, you know, again, not the worst of situations for Dave. He's definitely come back from worse. But you are off stage, and Zai's ledge trapping has been pretty good. And he finds a down smash yet again, just like we saw the game two finisher. Finds it yet again, and this could be Dave's last stock of the tournament. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how often Zai is finding these down smashes with Pyra. It's an interesting option because it also helps you low profile stuff, right? Um, and so Zai's just timing it really well. You can probably cover, uh, I imagine, the roll and the neutral getup and just, uh, you know, if he's looking for the neutral getup, for example, just has to time it correctly on reaction and does just that and almost gets it with the F smash too. Not quite, but it's not looking good for Dave. Yeah, bet it all right there with the F smash would have definitely been curtains. But regardless, you know, was able to kind of find a little bit of a punish right there, but Zai, you know, keeping it, you know, nice. You know, the intensity of this match is definitely, oh, but the block saved you. He gets a grab, though. He doesn't care. Throws him off stage, wants to get a ledge trap right here, wants to maybe even just end the game here. Finding some pressure. Got to be careful. A grab right here could do it, and it could be even Stevens. You see the block right there. Doesn't find anything. He has them at the ledge right now. Wants to find a down tilt, maybe something here. Finds an empty hop. Tries to get the up tilt in case Dave drops shield, but he didn't give it to him. Nobody home for it. Has them at the ledge again. Throws out the option. Throws out the F tilt, and that's going to be it. Sai takes it 3-0 over Dave, eliminating him at fourth place. Yeah, I mean, we, we said it multiple times, but just Zai's ability to play